Here we go, back again with another match day vlog and today we're off to the pub to meet Wincy and Sunderland welcome Cardiff to the Stadium of Light and one of the things I'm going to do today, I'm going to be an investigative journalist an investigative journalist today I'm going to have a look and watch some of the Cardiff fans being frisked going in to the Stadium of Light and see if they're being searched properly so that you know, all, 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 none of the, hopefully none of the Cardiff fans have been naughty today. Hopefully they'll be all good boys and girls and everyone will stay safe. I'm going to go for 4-0. I'm not really. I'm going to go for a 2-0. Am I? What did I say? Did I do a score prediction? Um, tell you what. A 3-0 win. 3-0 win. It probably won't be as easy as that. You know, I do wish Cardiff all the best in their season. Hopefully they'll survive in the championship. Hopefully, you know, they'll, all their dreams will come true. But not at the expense of Sunderland today. Um, hopefully we'll get three points. <laughs> I'm sick of saying hopefully. When I'm squelching through the mud on my three mile walk up to the... We're going to the Travs today. The Travs because apparently very sad times. The Belmont is closed. At this moment in time the Belmont is closed. Hopefully. Shut up saying hopefully. I hope <laughs> that the Belmont can reopen. But times you know times are like times are difficult so you know end of the day i wish them all the best and i hope the belmont does reopen but today we're off to the travers team news today yes team news today pritchard and evans are dropped to the bench i'm outside the beautiful ramside golf course on me walk up to the travers and like i said team news today patterson in goal same back four oh nine right bart and Sirkin. Then in midfield today, the team, the two that finished the game at, on, on Wednesday, starts today. Neil and Barr. Then on the right, Rich Pritchard. Pritchard on the left. Clark comes back in after his little bit of a rest. Ahmad in the middle. And Sims up front. Now, like I said, you know, I think that's the team news. I'm not 100% sure, but I've heard a little sneaky whisper. That's going to be the starting lineup. So here outside the Ramside Golf Course, team news today, Pritchard and Evans drop to the bench. Then we have a new midfield of Neil and Barr and Ahmad behind Sims. Roberts on the right, Clark on the left, defence the same, keeper the same. I'm going to go for a 3-0 home win. And, well, that's the team I'm led to believe starting. Not 100% sure, that is the team I'm led to believe that is starting. Nice start of the day. Nice paint of Madri. Some chips coming up. Yeah. Here outside the Travs with the top Sunderland fan himself goes to every single away game. It's Scully, how are you doing, mate? I'm all right, to you? Absolutely fantastic. On uh, the Madri, that's good stuff, that, isn't it? Strong, and man. he's just bought me a pipe, what a top, mate. Pint, High man. five to dear, mate. High, High five. five. The What's the score prediction today? Sunderland 2, Cardiff 0. 2 0, absolutely. 2 0. What was the way? Like atmosphere for the Huddersfield game during the week? Brilliant, like, brilliant. Brilliant, man. absolutely amazing. Once we back to the Air Force Friends, we'll be. Beating all the teams. Excellent. Right. Who's going to score today, do you think? I think it'll be uh, Barr. Barr? Uh, Clark. So, Clark? Well, oh, Clark's coming back, right. isn't he? Right. Any shout outs for any shout lads? Shout out for Mr. Barry Arnold from Sherman Village. Mr. Barry? Who uh, gets all the tickets and all the transport for the away games. Alan Brass, Billy Lee, Kevin Burleson, Mickey White, and Jack McCarthy. Absolutely. All the lads who go to the away games with us. All top lads. All the way games. Which is one yes. of your favourite away days? Can you can you pick anybody any any Arsenal. team out? Arsenal, Arsenal away. Arsenal away that night. Absolutely. Are we fantastic. always in London that night. A good game. Good Blackpool game. will be good. New Year's Day. Where do we we'll finish end of the season? Playoffs. Playoffs. See you later, mate. See you later. There he goes. He's off for another pint. Hey. <laughs> what on food? Watch today. What has Jonas got today? <laughs> Burger! Burger for breakfast, sorry dinner, or even a meal. Watch your score predictions today, Jonas. What are you going to go for? What are you going to go for? What are you going to go for? Are you going to go for? On the spot, on the spot, on the spot! 3-1 Sunderland! Happy days, enjoy your burger, lad. Wait there, Wincy! He's running off! We've got to go from the Travs to the Belmont to get the bus! Eagle, this I know. What's the score today going to be, mate? 1-0 Sunderland. 1-0 Sunderland's going to score? And the Sims. And the Sims, and the Sims, eh? Are you looking forward to the World Cup? I am, I am mate, aye. Are you in the sweepstake? Sweepstake, aye. Who have we got? France. France, aye. Yeah. Yeah. Got, uh, <laughs> I've got shiny fucking wheels. <laughs> <laughs> More chance of fucking grown leagues. He's got fucking USA. More chance of grown leagues. 
<laughs> and what did you say score prediction was there? Oh, 3-1. 3 one to Sunderland, there we go. We're off, we're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of us. Oh, oh, we're oh, going down towards hey, the Belmont. Hey, hey. Down to the Belmont. Okay, and it's it And in oh. first place is Scully. Scully up front. Here comes the wins. The wins, Meister. Can he take Scully? He takes him on the line. <laughs> it's a photo finish. Heading towards the Belmont to get to the bus. Everybody's waiting outside because the pub's closed. What a shame. Hey, Jerry, Jerry. Good pub, gone to waste. Good pub, gone to waste. Come on, Kevin Phillips, buy the pub and reopen it. You know, this pub should be open. What a waste of a pub. Let's look at the back. It's got on the back of the... Who, who used to have a pub like this? Look at this pub. Lovely seating area for the summertime. Summertime. And it's just completely gone to waste. I hope somebody can reopen this pub because it's absolutely beautiful. I need the toilet. I need, I need the toilet. Let me in. Let me in. I need okay. the toilet. Rinsey, come on. You know the lock. You've got the key. You've got the secret. I've got, I've got the skeleton key. You've got the skeleton key. Let Rinsey in. Let Rinsey in. <laughs> oh, Rinsey, what a, what a shame. It's closed, isn't it? Is I? Let's be... Nice big fucking pub like this, cunt, isn't it? Think it'll reopen again? I hope so. Hopefully I by hope Christmas, see. eh? If not, we've just got to chat more along, but it's the odds to me. Exactly. On my bar. I know Kevin Phillips lives in the area Aye. around the corner. He must have plenty of cash. Come on, Kevin, Aye. get someone in. Open the... I know, I know, I'm not putting any blame on Kevin, anybody no else. Pressure. No pressure. <laughs> no pressure, <laughs> Kevin. Just buy the bus, will you? I hope South Shields can get an equaliser goal against Forest Green. Uh -huh. Connor Wiggum then. scored Aye. for Forest Green. We wouldn't do with them, like, but wouldn't it's we? a beautiful place. What a waste! Absolutely, it, it, it saddens me to well, see I'm, places I'm like this. Couldn't find the toilet on the side. I couldn't find the toilet somewhere. There's an outdoor toilet there somewhere. But it is. It, it does saddens me to see places like this. Couldn't waste. Come on, the brewery put the prices up, put the rent up, and that's made the place close down. It makes no sense. It's absolutely senseless. Time for a Foster's on the bus on the way down, and look at what I've seen. We need netting at the stadium of light. We need netting at the stadium of light. But obviously, you not as big as that because the pound coins will fall through that. The pound coins would fall through that. On the bus with the top football predictor man, Matthew, how's it going? On the I'm, Madri? I'm, I'm, I'm on the Budweiser. Oh, oh Budweiser. How are you doing, bud? Yeah, good, good. Ah. It's fresh fresh after Huddersfield away on Wednesday night. Ah, what's the score going to be? They're there for the take of the day. I'm going to go for a 2 0 Sunderland. I feel yeah. confident. Ah, yeah, I'm very confident. They're there for the taking. What's your thoughts on Sims starting? He won't start. Uh, I've heard he is. I don't think he. I, don't wanna, I, I wouldn't risk him personally. No. But if he starts, he starts. So either way, I'll be happy. Who's going to score the day? Uh, we'll go with. Roberts and Jack Clark. And the thoughts on Tony Meister himself? Tony Morbrinio. Yes. He's a mastermind. Mastermind. And he's the one for Sunderland. Take us up eventually. Touch wood. This season I'll have you mid table. Enjoy the bud, bud. Oh, thank you. Hey. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, we get a go 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 go. Look at the flag on that. Absolutely fantastic. What a fantastic flag. Absolutely amazing, that's... Hey, this is in Hilton Hotel, one Manuel from Mexico and the lovely wife Veronica. Hello, you all right? We're you have a right. safe journey over. Thank you very much. Yes, very safe, very nice. Place. When did you arrive in Sunderland? Uh, two days ago. Two we days ago? Two days ago, yes. And yesterday we went to Durham and oh, Newcastle. And tomorrow off we go, but the oh. main reason for this trip is because we want to Hopefully see Sunderland. Hopefully three points. Hopefully yes, of three course. points. When did you become a Sunderland fan? Uh, four years ago. I think yes. that Netflix was uh, oh, so Netflix. much thing guilty when I saw Sunderland till I died. Amazing. Yes. Where about you stopping? Uh, sorry? Which hotel are you staying in? Uh, Grand Hotel Sunderland. The Grand Hotel? Yes. yes Absolutely amazing. What's the score going to be today, Manuel? Two nail. Two, Two nail. nail Sunderland? Jack Clark. And yes. Abdullah Bar is going to score his first oh, goal. Oh, nice one. Who's so. your favourite Sunderland player at this moment in time? Uh, at this moment in time, I think uh, Pritchard. I always like Alex Pritchard. Like Pritchard. Nice yes, one. Yes, nice one. And Veronica? Hi. Is he on the phone? What's the score going to be this year? 2-1. Two, 2-1? One. Two, one. Sunderland. 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 Absolutely Sunderland. amazing. Like it's absolutely fantastic to meet you. High five. Nice one. Enjoy your visit. Hopefully Sunderland will win today. Yes. yes Hopefully. 
Enjoy your stay. Thank you, Terry. Brilliant meeting you. Absolutely fantastic hey, Sunday fan. A gift to you from oh, a gift for me? Yes, of course. Oh my god. That is absolutely fantastic. Yes, we And Mexico. Oh, is that the, the home shirt? Yes, the home shirt. Thank you very much. For the World Cup. So I hope absolutely you make a, amazing. Thank I hope, you. I hope you make a live stream from Mexico when they play against Argentina. It will be oh, amazing. Yes. You let me know the date and I will. I will let Excellent. You know. Thank Take you care. Hopefully three points. Stay Thank safe. You. Thank you both of you. Let me take it. Hey, the day in the hotel with Ruben and Tom. Hi. How are you doing, mate? Fine. What's the score going to be today? 2 0 Sunderland. 2 0 Sunderland? What's the team? Do you know the team you? Um, yeah. Um, Let me know in a second. Score prediction. 2 1 Cardiff. <laughs> 2 1 Cardiff? Are you a Cardiff, Cardiff fan? fan? Yeah. Oh, nice yeah. one, mate. How's Cardiff going to do this season? Uh, I hope we'll do all right, like mid table ish, but we've been a bit inconsistent, I think. How many fans are you bringing today? Uh, I'm not really sure, but I don't know if it's sold out or anything. What's the who do you want as manager as Cardiff? Uh, we're looking towards Mark Hudson as a permanent, but I don't really know who he'd want. Who's your favourite Cardiff player? Uh, I'd say Calvin Robinson. Have a great season, mate. I hope Thank you do you. survive in the championship. I, I hope we do. Hopefully not at Sunderland's expense. Yeah. Have a great day, mate. So, What's the Sunderland team news today, mate? Do you know? Um, I saw a Twitter, a Twitter moment go. Come on, uh, give it out, give it out. You can do it, you can do it. Go on, uh, get on the uh, ball. Technology, kids and technology, they can do it. Um, Cardiff. Who's your all-time favourite card of player? Uh, Michael Chopra. Michael Chopra, really? Chopra. Come on, news, um, he's doing this. Patterson, 09, Wright, Bart, Sirkin, Neil, Bart, Roberts, Ahmed, um, Clark, Sims. Right, so no Pritchard? No Pr Pritchard's on the bench. No Evans? Um, Evans is on the bench. There we go, yeah. happy days, happy good days. luck. Three points to Sunderland. Hopefully, hopefully. hopefully. Have a safe journey home, mate. And, you, mate. and good luck for the rest of the season. And you. Thank you very much. And Cheers. You. I'm here today with Robert from Horton. How you doing, boy? How you doing, mate? What's the score going to be today? Well, I think we'll go for a rugby score today because Cardiff like rugby, so I'll go for 7 1. And do you have some, like, sort of international friends here? Yes, yeah, so I've, I've just jetted these across on uh, the Donald Trump's private jet. We have uh, Monique from California and we have Lucy here from Texas. Whoa! Lucy from Texas. Yes, Hello, Texas. Lucy. How's you doing? I'm good. How are you? This your first time in England? No, I'm from England. Oh, there we go. Are you a Sunderland fan? I am. Brilliant. I don't know much about football, but I support Sunderland. That's What's the score going to be today? Sunderland will win, but I don't know the scores. Are you having a good time? I'm having a really good time. What are you drinking? Vodka soda. Oh, I thought it was pop. Vodka um, soda. Yeah. Vodka soda. <laughs> and he's your friend. <laughs> Do you live in England or America? No, I'm from California. California, absolutely amazing, baby. What's the score going to be today? I just know Sunderland's going to win. Is it your first time in England? Yes. How are you enjoying it? I love it. Apart from the weather? Yeah, just the weather, but other than that, great. Can I How long are you here for? Sorry? How long are you over here for? For a year. For a year? Yeah, oh. so I got to go to more Sunderland games. Is it the gap year? No, studying no. my master's. Absolutely amazing. Where about are you studying? Newcastle. Newcastle. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> Take care, both of you. Have a great stay. Thank you for being on the vlog. Hey, hey. hey we're top Sunderland fan. Cameron, Cameron, I love the scarf. Thank you. Love the top. How's it going, mate? Yeah, it's all right. I mean, the scarf is from 2019 playoff final, so maybe not the best memory. Where about are you from? Uh, Darlington. Darlington. How long have you been a Sunderland fan? as long as I can remember pretty exactly. much. Exactly. What's the score going to be today, mate? I'm going to go 3-1 Sunderland. Do you have a Sunderland player? Stuart, of course. What's your thoughts on Tony Mowbray? Bringing the boys, bringing the boys back to where we need to be. Are we getting promoted this season? No. 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 Just need some stability. Exactly. Stability first is what we need. Top comment. Thank you. Take Cheers. care, mate. Enjoy. Cheers, Thank you very much. Hey, did you? We're Cardiff fans. Kieran, Kieran. How are you doing, mate? Fucking brilliant, mate. What's your thoughts on Cardiff this season? Obviously, Tabby loss against Swansea and everything like that, but just come up now, five hours up the road now, first Sunderland for three, three, three points, but yeah. looking good. Scott prediction today? It's a 2 1 Cardiff. Good luck and yeah. a safe journey home. Thank you, bud. And who's your favourite Cardiff player? John Ross. Nice one, mate. Enjoy. Yeah. Cardiff fan? Yeah. Neil? Macaulay. Macaulay. 
Who's your favourite Cardiff player? Of all time, Peter Whitnam. It's got to be. Who do you want as a Cardiff manager, next Cardiff manager? It's hard to say. There's not many managers about no. at the moment. Would he survive the championship this season? Yeah, we got him. We got him. I wish you all the best, mate. Have you got a prediction today? Uh, two and Cardiff again. Two and Cardiff. Safe journey home, mate. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. A Sunderland fan, score prediction? 2 1 Sunderland. 2 1 Sunderland. Favourite Sunderland player? It. Nice one, mate. Hopefully, it comes back soon. Yeah. Three points today. Come on, Sunderland. Here today with Adrian Kitchen from Brazil. He wins the Real Madrid shirt on the channel. Well done, Adrian. High five. Thank you, Terry. Excellent, Excellent mate. mate. Excellent. Excellent. How long are you over here for? Just two weeks. Two weeks? Yeah. What made you move to Brazil? The weather. Work? Yeah. Absolutely. Is it nice? Yeah, it's really nice. Lovely yeah, warm. That's right, yeah, that's right. It wasn't the footy, you know. The footy is better here. Will Brazil win the World Cup? I hope not. I hope England win. England! Hey! <laughs> Scott prediction of the year, mate. 4 1. 4 1. Brilliant. Who's your favourite Sunderland player? At the minute or ever? Ever. Gary Rowell. Gary Rowell? Yeah, I was nice a kid one, when mate. he was playing, yeah. Happy days. Yeah. What's your thoughts on Tony Mowbray? Uh, steady hand, isn't he? It is, isn't he? Yeah. I thought he's doing all right as well. He got his subs right for the yeah. first time, I think, on uh, he did, didn't on he? Brilliant, yeah. wasn't it? That's right. Yeah. Hopefully three points today. Adrian, enjoy your stay. Excellent. High five. Yeah, keep up the good work then. Take care. Excellent. Thank you very much. Yes. Nice one, mate. Do 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 the sexiest man on YouTube, Brad. How are you doing, mate? All right, Luke. Yeah. I love him, mate. What's the score going to be this year? Two 0 Sunderland. Two 0 yeah. Who's your Sunderland favourite all-time player? Not Dennis Curtin. No. Uh, Who's your favourite uh, player at the moment? Football, no. I, no. I don't really know them. Are we going to get promoted this season? Yeah, I sure yeah. are. Who's your friends? Ah, <laughs> Jonathan and Dan. Who's your friends? Scott Prediction. Two nil Sunderland. Scott Prediction. Three nil Sunderland. Scott Prediction. He's got it. He's gone. I'm here to deal with Simon, a Cardiff away fan. Have you been to many away matches? Yes. Have you been threat like this not at away matches? Not for not for Never. twenty years. What's your thoughts on this? Why should we be treated like this? Because some people are idiots. They are. Some, some fans are idiots, mate. Yeah. And the majority of fans like yourself are perfectly good fans who want to go and watch a game of football. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's overreaction. Put the way fans at the bottom, shit don't happen. A lot of Sunderland fans here, they should be at the bottom. I, I respect that. What's the score going to be today, mate? It's 3-1 to us, obviously. Tell you what, have a great season, have a great season. Enjoy. Take care, mate. Thank you very much. Comedy fans are being searched, like the Sunderland hierarchy said they would do, they're being searched, so you know, end of the day, well done. Absolutely amazing. Well done, Bernette. Well done. Great to see the Sunderland players taking out time to sign shirts and stuff for Sunderland. Well done Evans, well done Benetti. 
and well done everybody. Hopefully Sumner can win this year. Go on Evans, go on Evans. Brilliant job Evans, brilliant job. I love that, I love that. People taking time out to help the fans. The fans love the crowd. Pritchard, amazing Pritchard, well done Pritchard. Taking time out. Remembrance Sunday coming up. Sunderland Roven reporter here. It's Sunderland nil, Cardiff nil. 15 minutes gone, but Sunderland give away a penalty. Anthony Patterson stood up to the job. He saved. What a magnificent save from Anthony Patterson. 14, 15 minutes gone. Absolutely superb. Sunderland's number one fan. Anthony Patterson saves the day. Brilliant penalty save. Come on. Hey hey. What's your name, mate? Jack, how are you doing, mate? You all right? Hey, what's the score going to be today? 3-1 to Sunderland, I hope. Do you really think so? Well, I've got a bet on. Oh, hopefully you're right. Jack! Good shout out to Patterson. Good save. And we phoned for again, so I'll have to go on. Thoughts on Tony? Thoughts on Tony? Tony Mowbray, doing yeah. well. I didn't want him in, but he's here again. He's doing well, so... Happy the days. Enjoy, man. Enjoy. Enjoy. As well. Thank you again. very much. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Red wide on me. Tommy, Tommy yeah. from the round. Tommy, Tommy, calm down, calm down. What's the score going to be today, mate? 2-0, 2-0. 2-0. Who's your favourite son of player? Uh, Luke on iron. Nice one, mate. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Oh, Tommy, 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 He's one of our own. Score the day, mate. Three, we are already been on two one. Shout out to Slay, North Star ABC, and Roger Ruffles. Come on, the boys. Happy Happy day. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Hey. Hey. hey, today with Steve the main man. Steve the main man. How's it going, mate? Not bad, mate. Big corn on a winter's day in Sunderland. Drizzle. What's the score at half time? Nil nil, and I'm I'm happy. I'm happy that it's nil nil. What was Patterson's save like? Excellent, yeah, absolutely superb. Man Honestly, of the match so far. Man, he is the man of the match so far because he's the only one who's had to do out because their keepers had the main. I don't think he's made one save this half. Ah. I think mean, Bailey Wright, Patterson have been superb in the first yeah. half. The midfield's a bit soft, isn't it? It's very weak the dear. I mean, we've all known that the change it, so we can't see anything. And Morby's tried something different. And unfortunately, I don't think it's been working. We're very weak on the ball. The second ball, we're just losing it. Every time we look to go forward and pass it, we lose it. Time for change at half time? I definitely. Who'd you bring on? I'll bring on Evans and Pritchard on. Exactly. Definitely. At the end of the day, we won against Huddersfield. If we draw the day and we beat Birmingham, wouldn't be a bad result, would it? No, definitely not. Especially the state of that first half. I mean, the lady behind you summed it up. She went, thank God for that when the referee blew the whistle for half time. Cardiff were the better side, weren't they? Oh, 100%. Must 100%. respect. Better must, side. Must respect. The fans have been fantastic the day. Uh, it was, our fans have been fantastic because we did a beautiful ceremony for we the... We did that, we did that. For the fallen and the, the people exactly. serving in the forces. That was a beautiful... So, you, you can't go. Thank I you, just, Steve. Thank I just you. hope we win. Touch wood. We don't deserve it at the moment, but it would be lovely if we did. Draw at worst. Draw at worst, yes. Thank you, Steve. Cheers, yes. Mara. Cheers. Half time, two tops on the fans. Aston Finley. Are you enjoying yourself, lads? Uh, yeah, yeah, just poor by the police. Poor good, first half. Good save by Patterson. Good save. Patterson's amazing, isn't he? Yeah. He's one of a one. Hannah. Final score. Um, two. I'd say two nil Sunderland. Two nil Sunderland. Happy days, hey! Enjoy, lads. Happy enjoy. Day. Morgan, how are you, mate? Hi, not too How's bad. How's it going? Hi, pretty good. First half, good. Shite. 
Apart from Patterson, the man of the match. Oh, so, so far, yeah. Apart from that penalty save, there's been nothing in the Final game. Final score? 1-0 Sunderland. 1-0. I've, I've got faith. Nick, how's it going? First half, enjoying it? Terrible. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. Who's man of the match? <laughs> oh, it's got to be Patterson all day. Patterson, penalty uh, save. Patterson. Final score? It's got to be tough, but I fancy 1-0, will it? will be changed. Squeaky 1-0. Oh, squeaky 1-0. Who's your name? What's your Bradley. name? Bradley. Final score? 1-0. One 1-0. One Happy days. Who's your son of favourite player? Jack Clark. Jack Clark. Final score, Finley? 2-1. Um, 2-1. Son of the favourite player? Dennis The biggest quest of the day. So I get your name right. Yeah. Hey! Half time, it's nil nil with Will Brian Atkinson's son. How are you doing, mate? How's your dad doing? He's doing fine. He's uh, manager he's of who? All right. uh, Newton Aikliff from the North. Nice League. one, mate. Nice one. What's the final score going to be today? I reckon, I think it's going to be close, but I reckon 1 0. Sneaky win. Last minute goal, I reckon. Who's your son's favourite player at this moment in time? Um, I'm liking Amad Diallo. I think he's a good player yeah. all round. It's also Tony Mowbray. He's a good manager, to be fair. He's done well since he's come in, but uh, you just have to see. And where can we finish this season? <laughs> I reckon we'll sneak maybe eight, eight or seven. Nice one, like mate. That. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Liam? Uh, I think we're going to win 2-0. Uh, 2-0? Two nil. Two nil. Emma? Hello. Have you enjoyed the first half? Man of the match first half? Oh, man of the match first half. Ooh. Patterson. Be Really right, yeah. to be fair. He did really well, didn't he? He did I really well. He did really, really well. Final score. I'm going to say it's going to be a sloppy 1-0. Do you think so? Aye. It's going been to be a very sloppy 1-0. Aye. Pool first half. Aye. Pool first half. How we're not 1-2-0 down, I'll never know. Touch wood, we can get the result and win. Touch wood. Enjoy the game. Win the day. You too. Well, second half started. We 1-0 down. Cardiff has scored. We knew it was coming. It was all Cardiff first half. Yeah. Second half. Now they made the changes. Finally, Evans and Pritchard are on. Well, we Neil and Bar are off. Thought, Steve. I don't know why he just didn't do it at half time. Why is he waiting 10 minutes into the second half to make the subs and gam 1 0 down? Obviously, I'm down because we're losing 1 0, but we don't deserve any. We don't deserve anything out of the game. I'd have been happy with Evans and Pritchard starting, to be fair. Yeah. I don't know why they're being dropped in the first place. You know, we beat Huddersfield. Yeah. And then we drop Pritchard and drop Evans. I don't get it. But the, didn't give me the excuse at the time because they're going to have about four weeks off after next Saturday. Is it next Saturday we play yeah, Birmingham? Yeah, yeah. And they're going to have four weeks off, so they're going to easy play the day. And uh, it's, it's, it's. I get annoyed. A lot of people have a go at me because I get annoyed. But we've only won two, and it's mid November, and it's home. Okay. I mean, end of the day. Tony Moby is the manager, he's tried yeah. something different, hasn't worked, yeah. he's changed it. Hopefully we learn from it and hopefully we can get back into this game and get at least the draw. Yeah, I'll be, at, at this moment I'll snap your hand for a draw. I, I will snap your hand off for a draw, but if we don't, Cardiff deserve, at this moment in time, it's about 60 minutes gone in the match, Cardiff deserve all the three points. Exactly, so, better team, better team, better team. team, better, better team. So if, we don't, if we don't get anything out of the deal, I can't be disappointed seeing it was a referee's ball or that was hard exactly. done by we wasn't we're poor we're poor very, very touch poor. wood touch wood we get a goal get a goal and go home at least happy with a point but after the winter break please Sunderland we want to see you start winning a lot more at home because it wrecks our Saturdays <laughs> what happened there oh, oh shit hopefully that's not another goal oh, no. free kick free kick free, free kick, kick. Yeah. yeah we need some players in January well, we do we do so KLD get into your mummy's purse and get the penny spent What's happening here? I know what's happening here. I'm going to go and find out. I need to go. <laughs> well, it's finished. Sunderland nil, Cardiff City one. Sunderland nil, Cardiff City one. Before we start with this, I want to say well done to Cardiff. There's, sometimes you have doubts in life. You know, you think, was it this? Was it that? There was no doubt today whatsoever. Cardiff were the better side. Cardiff were the better side, full stop. So well done, Cardiff. They moved up just behind Sunderland. They beat us 1-0. 
and Tony Mowbray got it completely wrong today. Tony, you're a big enough person, I want to hear you on the interview tonight, that you fucked up, that you got completely wrong. You got it completely wrong. I don't want to hear about you saying, well, you know, you know, we are outplayed, blah, blah, blah. Just, Tony, just say it. You got it wrong. Simple as. We were outplayed, outbattled, outperformed in midfield. We started Neil and Barr, who came on against Huddersfield in the second half. And, you know, you know, end of the day, hindsight's a wonderful thing. But Evans has tried and trusted the captain of the side. Why was Evans dropped? Why was Pritchard dropped? I'm going to have a kind of mad dream and draw me some rolls. But Tony, you know, you're the manager. The book stops with you. You fucked up. You got it completely wrong. Neil and Barr, weak as piss in midfield. Sorry, I don't care what anybody says, you know, the weakest piss. They weren't strong enough. We needed Evans, the captain in midfield. And Pritchard, a mad today. Pritchard would have been better in that position. You know, first half, we, we, we've seen what happened. They got a penalty. Was it a penalty? Probably not a penalty. Sunderland have not gained a penalty so far this season. Do we deserve a penalty? I don't know. But, you know, what, what we do deserve is no points today because we were fucking shit. We were absolutely garbage in the first half. And the second half, Tony Mowbray sat in his laurels. Didn't make any fucking changes whatsoever. And 48 minutes gone, Cardiff scored. It was coming. I could see it was coming. You transfer window and bring in some quality players. Because as much as you want to spend money on the youngsters, they can't come in off the pitch. You know, with 70 minutes gone, the youth, the exuberance, and you know the energy, but the, the experience and the knowledge to, to play a game from the beginning, it's lacking. It is lacking. We need experienced players. Tony needs to go into the transfer window and buy some players. We've got one more game before the World Cup starts against Birmingham away. We need a draw at least. We could do with a win because... Even though we were in 13th place, there's just there's, there's nothing between us and the drop. Nothing at all. Thank you. Mexican Sunderland fan came over. Give me this shirt. This shirt is fucking amazing. Look at that. That is properly sewn in. None of these fucking stamps. These horrible stamps you get in shirts. This shirt is absolutely fantastic. So I want to say thank you, Manuel de Toro. I'm sorry, I do apologise. It's not my fault, but I take responsibility. We lost the day and it's ruined your week. But again, absolutely fantastic job. What a lovely Mexican shirt. And if I can and I'm available, I will do a Mexican versus Argentinian live stream. There we go, man of the match. Nobody deserves man of the match because it was a fucking shit performance. You know, end of the day, I say it the way it is. I say it the way it is and it was awful. Cardiff. Cardiff are a shit team. End of the day, I do apologise, Cardiff fans. You know, you were the better side, which we, which means we are fucking shit. But Cardiff, you know, you're down there for a reason. You're not very good. You're not very good. You haven't got a manager. And you're out-battled, out-played, out-performed Sunderland today. Sunderland, that was the worst performance at home. We are garbage at home. What's going on with our home performance? It's shocking. Stadium full of fans and the team can't perform. We need players in. We need to buy some experienced professional players in. Simple as. Do I blame Tony? Yes, Tony. Tony Mowbray, it's your fault today. But, end of the day, I'm still backing Tony Mowbray to turn things around. I'm still wanting Tony in the January window to bring experienced players in. I want, K I want KLD and, and Speakman to back Tony Mowbray and to bring some better experienced players in. Like tie Ross Stewart down to a contract for fuck's sake. How hard is it to tie our best striker down to a contract? Why are we dawdling about? Why are we tippy tapping fucking about with this contract? Tony wants Ross Stewart to be tied down, but the hierarchy, KLD and Speakman, are not doing their job. Tie Ross Stewart down. End of the day, thank you for watching this, for, thank you for watching the vlog. I do apologise, I'm a little bit angry with the re result. I am a little angry with the result, I do apologise. Do I blame Tony? I said yes, I blame Tony for this, but at the end of the day, the players have got to stand up to be counted as well. And, you know, and so does the hierarchy, because the team's not good enough. You know, end of the day, 
we were in 13th place, we move on, we forget about today's match and we want Tony to succeed. Thank you for watching the video, please subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, please subscribe to this channel. Take care, God bless me, God go with you. I'm gonna go and drown in my sorrows while the cov- Why the cov- Why the fuck was it? Why the Charlton? Cardiff fans, the Cardiff fans enjoy the three points. Fireworks all over outside. Well, that's the only fucking fireworks we'll see this weekend because Sunderland was shite. Take care. See you later.